I want people to feel it's burned in with pressure. Hey guys, it's Alex from European Coffee Trip. Radek is behind the camera and right now I'm in Unterhaching, close to Munich, Germany. And the reason we came here is because behind these doors, Commandante Grindus are made. So let's take a look. So we came here to meet the CEO and founder of the company, Bernd Braunen, to learn about the story and also to find how every single hand grinder is made here in the factory. So we started roasting in 2005, you know, and then we were traveling a couple of years and roasting and getting to know people. And uh, actually I served on the board of Cup of Excellence in the beginning. So in, in, in 2010, the idea, idea came up is why not build a travel grinder? And um, I looked at bird designs of old grinders, new grinders, and, and tried to understand the, the physical concept of taking a, a roasted bean and, and put it into particle for a good extraction. I think the, the, the current version, this one here, which was totally developed by us, including burr, screws, everything, it started in 2014. That's when, when we actually put things together. And it was a difficult process. You know, sometimes you, you, you start a company and there are moments where you want to stop because it's so difficult. But um, the vision to have a good grinder with a very good performance uh, was always driving me to that point. Yeah, my, my education is electrical engineering. I, I work with silicon crystal, so I lived in Palo Alto and then in Menlo Park. And I work with uh, great people who build great companies. So I work with Michael Dell, I work with the Intel folks and the, the Apple team to build the chipsets there. And it was, um, it's amazing. You, you, there you learn to have a vision and then go after it. Uh, make no compromise in quality, go for the difficult part, you know. And the grinder is something I needed, you know. So um, it was a challenge to build it yourself to that performance. And here is our particle lab. That's where we have our optical system to look at particles and particle distribution, centricity and stuff like that. When I talk about good quality, you have to be able to measure it. So my tipping point came after I made the decision to, to spend almost 100,000 euros for a particle analyzer, the best on the planet. And uh, there I could see, I could see exactly, you know, the particle, the shapes. So that's important. So because if we make a change to the burr, we want to see the impact. Or if we want to see how consistent our production is, we take it out production, grind coffee, put it in here and let it run. It's almost like switching on the light. You, you drive in the dark, you do what everybody else does, and you drink coffee and it's like, hmm, this is good or this is not good, but you don't know. And when you have a good lab equipment, you actually, it's almost like switch on the light, you can see exactly what you, what you do and you can measure it. So one part is like developing and building uh, a grinder. The other thing is you need to manufacture it, not just 10 or 20, uh, not just 100, you need to manufacture a couple of thousands. And that was another challenge. <laughs> Where are we going now? Now we're going to the production area. And we have different departments here, different workshops. Let's go inside here, because that's where a lot of action is. So this is, uh, this is our wood workshop. So we buy the wood. Actually, we go to the, 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 um, the wood company, we look at the tree, and if we like the tree, they cut the, the tree for us in, in little slices like this. So it's approximately half a millimeter thick. So we're cutting out uh, the areas which we like, and then we laminate it. Here's and Andreas is doing lamination here. Let's go over. It looks simple and looks easy, but uh, he's the only guy who can do this. See, after a day, the, the glue is hard, like hard plastic. It feels okay, but you have to remove all that you know, by hand, basically. And that's what we're doing. 
So there are a couple of steps where we build machines. Like this machine we designed ourselves and we take only a, a tiny fraction of the surface because so it's like um, 50 microns. We don't use paint for the logo. We want to have an imprint. So when people go over it, they feel it. And that's what we do. Yeah. It's a real old thing, you know, temperature and pressure. We sand it down smooth. We uh, put a wax oil on it. Fiber goes back up. We let it dry. We sand it again. Same process again. So the first layer, the wood absorbs the oil and wax to, uh, to close the surface. So we repeat this process of sanding, oiling, sanding, oiling, sanding, oiling. Three times to get a perfect shape. And then it lasts for a long, long time. Um, yeah, I'm really in love with this product. Our babies. <laughs> So now this is uh, the area where we laser mark, like these are the decoration rings to fix the engine in the grinder. Now we, we have this one here and this is actually doing a micro heating so that the, um, the steel turns up with a color. We have these trays here, we fill this tray and it goes over into the next department. Now this, this area is like in engine mounting place where we put everything together the bursts have been completely finished and cleaned so put it into those trays so the person who built engines here can concentrate and just put it together helmut is with uh, me for 12 years what did say now 11 years so he worked with me roasting coffee uh -huh. on the packaging machine and, uh, and now we, he marries the engine and, and the body. Yeah. Yeah. Once it's here, it's finished, it goes here. Uh -huh. It's like um, this cherry, I love it. See, this American, yeah, this is what I get for my sister. Yeah. American yeah. And then we have uh, the shipping department. One or two days a week we um, pack everything together. So once all the grinders are assembled, quality checked, packed, they are ready to be shipped to you. We're building a, a fair amount of grinders. You have to because um, with so many people which we employ and, and the labor costs in Germany, you, you have to have a good, good volume. So uh, we build a couple of thousand grinders uh, per month and that's what we need to do. Now it's a real business. It started in a garage, but uh, this is a solid business. I think Commandante will be around for, uh, for a very long time and we, you will see a lot of products coming out. I'm in love with my product and with my clients and my customers and friends worldwide because they helped me to build this product. They challenged me to, to build a product like this. So I think um, it's, a, it's a recipe for success. Be humble, work very hard, listen to your clients, enjoy what you do and put all your energy into it. It's like when you put so much effort into it and you see that people are happy with it, this is, um, this is why, actually this is why I did it, you know. So it's time to leave the Commandante factory. We hope that you enjoyed this video. It was very exciting for us to see so many small steps that goes into building this grinder. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.